Yo, what's cooking good lookins? It is Solar Entertainment TV. I am finally back. Um, I had, for those of you who don't know, um, a, a couple of you kept in contact with me um, as much as I kept in contact with you. Um, I've been going through some stuff. Let's just say some stuff. Um, and even, even if we just push all that shit to the side, which I'm not going to talk about it because at this point it's just kind of redundant. Um, I, within the last 23 days, I worked, I only got it one day off. So, like, I have been working a lot. Um, there's a couple of things I want to talk about with the channel. I'm going to do that in a separate video. Uh, just in today's video, I want to talk about a couple of updates that have happened since I was gone. Um, as you can see, I bought this crossbow. I will be doing a review on that, and I even plan on doing, um, doing a couple boss hunts with it. Uh, just to just to see how you know what it's like to, to, to boss hunt with it um, but there's a couple of things that have been added that people have been pretty much begging for they have been you know to get these these updates um, so let's read some of them this is just a client update um, but I figured I would just start here because fuck it why not um, the volatile leaper uh, buffed to take no knockback sick I still haven't fought that fucking thing I mean it only comes out like once a day and I haven't been on in a month. So fix the bug that created floating body part assets in the wastelands and around precinct 13. Okay, that's weird. Fix the bug where some objects would appear yellow if next to another lootable object. Uh, adjusted, adjusted various interior and exterior layouts so players can loot previously inaccessible loot spots from the ground or using new entryways. Now, when was this? Okay, so this was done July 30th, but I, I remember I remember this because I had done it before. I was in the hospital, and they, like, like, fixed a bunch of shit. So I guess they just added, like, different stuff. Um, reduced how many assets spawn uh, in the wasteland slightly and increased the distance of their placement from entrances slash exits. Uh, player avatar optimization that helped lesson stuttering when a player joins an area okay cool so all right edit two weapon texture issues were fixed in client v51 hotfix okay all right sure you know, that's just a couple of flash fixes uh here and there um but the real update i wanted to talk about was this one actually super interesting um people have been talking about this for uh, a long time um you can now fast travel between outposts by paying a fee of approximately $5,000 per map square traveled. Uh, this option can be accessed by clicking on the fast travel button on the outpost screen. Now, here's how I want this to work. I don't know if it's going to work like this. I, I haven't tried it at all. You know, like I said, I haven't been on. I'm, I'm hoping that they pick the fastest route or like the route with the least amount of squares to get to this point. Because like... I could technically travel from Precinct 13 to Sec... I, now, I would never do this, but I could travel from Precinct 13 to Sekernon Bunker by going all the way up, going through Nastaya's, like, going all the way back to Nastaya's, and then traveling right, and then go up. Like, you could technically do that. So, I'm hoping that the way it works is you kind of... you They pick the route with the least amount of squares. Um, I have not tried that. I figured this would be a pretty good video... Uh, to do first because I wanted to try out the crossbow, but I um I am in precinct 13 and there's really not I mean I could go down to uh, Fucking the wastelands, but I want to be I want to be around some bosses to use this thing So I figured this would be a pretty good place to start I'll just withdraw all my money. Why not? That seems like oh, that'd be a little expensive wouldn't it? I mean it's gonna be less than 500 grand this is going to be, this is going to, I feel like this is going to change the marketplace. I haven't been on to see what the marketplace is like, um, but I am going to get some input from a couple of my boys who have been playing consistently just to kind of see um, if they think the market has changed. Okay, so travel to Sekernam Bunker for $370,000. I'm going to pause. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pull up the map and I'm going to see if that's the fastest route or if it's just the most traveled route based on, you know, statistics of, you know, their spaghetti code or whatever. Give me one second. Okay, so looking at um, 
the map here, it does seem to pick the quickest route. I'm not sure exactly what that is, uh, because I did the math, 370, it was 370,000, correct? Yeah, okay, 370,000, uh, divided by 5,000, that'd be 72, um, so 72 squares that you would have to go. Now, I counted from here, from precinct to this square right here, I wanted to make this a base because some people, they go this way and they come down around and they go up because they want to loot this. So I made this just the, just the, the set. This was 40. Um, and I could have slightly miscounted because I'm, I'm using the fucking mouse cursor and I'm counting these little dots. But from here, if you were to go up, and to the right this way, and then go up all the way until you reach here, and then go over, I believe I counted 74, which is two more than um, what I thought. But I guess you could kind of cut that out if instead of going this one square unnecessarily, you could just go here and come up and go over. That might that might uh, cut some out, I'm not sure. Um, but it does seem to pick the quickest route possible. Um, and from, I didn't even count from here down and over because I got to like right here and I reached 72. So I was like, okay, obviously that's not going to work. So it does pick the fastest route. That's interesting to see. Um, you know what? I wonder if I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to fast travel with no money in my, in my, in my inventory or in all my person. I, I know it's probably not going to work, but like, Let's just see, because you're probably going to have to click yes to fast travel. Okay, yeah, it doesn't even show up. All right, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I mean, technically, if the money's in your bank, come on, Neil, it's 2020. <laughs> just make a credit card already, you fuck. Like, let's go, come on now. All right. So 370000 to travel to Sekranam Bunker. Oh, man, that's interesting. 155000 to go to Nastias. Two hundred five for Dog Stockade. Really? Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay, I forgot I was in precinct. I was like, you're telling me the fucking second non bunkers further away? And then I realized, I was like, yeah, no, I'm in precinct. Let's fast travel. Okay, that's it. It's just a, a straight-up fucking jump to the next thing. There's really no loading screen or anything required. Um, that's interesting. Did they change the font for the outpost? It seems like they changed the font. That looks a little weird to me, but then again, I haven't been on in a minute, so maybe that's why. Okay, so I'm, that's pretty cool. Um, like I was saying earlier, I really think that this is going to change the, uh, the marketplace, um, because you can, you, you can have these people that just have, you know, all of their storage unlocked, and they can buy one fucking thing, and then just skirt on down to fucking precinct. And since the reason why everything at precinct is so expensive is because, you know, most people, they come up here and then they buy or they loot it and then they run all the way back down there. So you're paying for somebody to bring you that stuff. Um, and that's why, well, at least why I think, you know, it, one of the reasons why it's so fucking expensive. Um, but that's eliminated now. You could buy here, and then you could sell for slightly more over there, as long as you make a profit for traveling back and forth. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, it makes it a, it makes it a little bit easier, uh, a little bit um, uh, kind of cheesy for you know anybody who's just a uh, just a straight up merch mercher. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. I, I I want to fast travel. I always thought that it would be a good idea. I always thought that if you were willing to pay then it, it should be no problem. Um, so to be able to fast travel from fucking point to point, it should be easier to do videos. Um, speaking of doing videos, I will be trying to get back on schedule. Um, it won't be every day because I, I work so goddamn much. And when I come home, all I really want to do is just, just sit down in my own self-loathing. Um, but I am trying to make a schedule. And, and I mean, just even from today to what's today. So today's Wednesday, even from this Wednesday to next Wednesday, all seven days, I have one day off and I might not even get that day off. So I'm still working a lot. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking around and, and waiting it out. And a lot of you checking up on me, um, to make sure I was okay. I really appreciate that. It, it really is good to know that my audience is so tight-fisted we're, we're 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 so close not like this not well i mean like if you want it like this we could but like we're so close 
and um, that's cool. I, I like to know that I have a I have a great audience and, and people who care. Um, but with all that, that probably spiked the mic, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that was the fast travel update. I will be doing a review on the crossbow in just a couple minutes here because I, I have some time to sit down and record, and I want to kind of get a couple videos together so that way, hopefully within the next couple of days, I can kind of just slide them out. Uh, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button, subscribe button, share button, definitely become my positive negative doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. And if you enjoyed that much, you want to miss anything I might, uh, might upload in the future. It's been a while. Uh, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys, again, sincerely, so much for watching. Um, I have this video coming. I have a channel video coming. And then I have the crossbow uh, review video coming. And then hopefully I have some, some boss hunts with that coming. Uh... Again, thank you guys so much. It, it really means a lot to me.